Welcome back. Some of the best learning takes place when students are engaged with a project and engrossed in what they're doing. That's the idea behind a program at Bear Valley Middle School in Escondido, which earned the 2014 Innovate Award from the Classroom of the Future Foundation. In Room 9 at Bear Valley Middle School, there's evidence of a job well done, lots of it. I look for avenues to bring competition into the classroom. Kids love to compete. Five years ago, Steve Tillinghast had an idea, combine robotics and STEM. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Then have students use those principles to tackle real-world issues in a daily elective class. We determined that 30 to 40 percent of seniors forget to take their medication on a daily basis. So one team created a reminder website called Med Vigilant. And then there's this. Light up walker that uses only a touch sensor and a light sensor so they can carry it wherever they need to without wasting battery. And this shield is meant to protect a search and rescue robot. It's made of a carbon fiber Kevlar blend. Project Nanobots focused on earthquake disasters and how to detect a life-threatening gas leak. So we built the quadcopter and we named it Leonardo. Quadcopter flies in, it drops our box off full of our sensors. The sensors detect the gas levels in the air. They send it back where we can read the information on a screen. It's the nanobot. They were the winners of this year's SoCal Regional Competition. They've been invited to Toronto to compete with 25 teams from the United States, 25 teams from Canada, and 25 of the teams from all over the world. Success comes when they apply what they're learning in core classes to hands-on projects. If I can't help them with a particular part of the project, I'll go to the community and find people that can. Professional mentors are eager to help, and some students come back. The program left a, a lasting effect on me. I've been coming back and trying to help the new people. The STEM robotics program at Bear Valley Middle School began as an experiment. It's something that the people from the rest of the district look to now as far as what they would like to do at their schools. Very cool program. One middle school in El Cajon underwent a major overhaul and as a result has earned the 2014 Classroom of the Future Foundation Inspire Award. Technology as a tool for learning is on the front lines of this success story. Cajon Valley Middle School in El Cajon has been transformed. As a result, families are choosing to send their children here. Our student population is pushing 900 right now, which is a significant improvement because uh, just a few short years ago, we were around 680, and we're projected to go over 1,000 in two years. Change began with passage of a community bond, which mandated rebuilding the school and the upgrade of technology. With modern classrooms came modern day tools for learning. This is our fourth year using iPods in the classroom and one of the things that we're seeing consistently with our students is that they'll take more risks and they'll practice more. Helpful because two-thirds of the students here are learning English as a second language. We have a lot of kids that are brand new to U.S. schools. The school also added a studio and at 9 a.m. students produce a daily newscast with a message from the principal and content created by students on iPads and most recently MacBook Airs. Students use technology, but they also use um, innovation. They use their minds to create things that have not been created before. All kinds of digital presentations, blogs, videos, even apps for mobile phones. When I saw this, I was like, yeah, I really want to do this. That attitude seems pervasive when you look at the results. The school says from 2011 to 2014, the number of students earning A grades increased 31 percent. The number of F grades decreased by 47 percent. The number of behavior referrals decreased by 64 percent. And the number of student transfers to other schools? It decreased to absolutely zero. The principal credits the infusion of technology, positive interaction between students of different cultures, and a committed staff. Ruth Moss won a $53,000 grant to purchase 30 laptops. First, she took a grant writing course at San Diego State. You know, at first it was kind of hit and miss, and, and now it's about every other grant I write uh, usually gets funded. These days, they call themselves digital engineers, learning through production rather than consumption. I just find it fun. I just find it fun. Very impressive. You can find out more about these award-winning programs on our website, 4SD.com, on the Salute to Education page. We'll be right back.